Tyson Fury fights Dillian White Saturday, a fight that most people think he's going to win. After the fight, Fury says he will hang him up and walk away from the sport. Fury said before the Wilder Fury won fight that he wants to retire undefeated like Rocky Marciano. So some fans believe he's retiring to avoid Alexander Uzik and Anthony Joshua because those are risky fights. Those are fights that could put blemishes on Tyson Fury's record. And it's cool for some people for Tyson Fury to run off to the sunset or right off to the sunset because he got two victories on Deontay Wilder, three victories if you ask me, but that makes him the greatest heavyweight of this era for some people. You can mix the Otto Wallin and Schwartz in there too. But I believe that he doesn't think Anthony Joshua could beat Alexander Luzik, and that's the fight he wants. He wants to fight AJ for all the marbles. He's in the same boat by most boxer fans. They don't believe Anthony Joshua could come back and beat Alexander Uzik, and that's the fight he wants. And it's obvious to non fury fanboys that Tyson Fury does not want that Uzik smoke. It's too risky. He won't be getting paid like he is fighting Anthony Joshua. I think if AJ happens to pull off the rematch and win, I think Tyson Fury would unretire if he decides to retire. With all his retirement talk, I'm very interested to see how Fury looks against White tomorrow night. Like I said, you know, and everybody said it, everybody wants to be Canelo. Everybody. And everybody walks in the ring with that mentality of beating Canelo. And I'm not the one that's going to, I'm not going to be the last person that's going to tell you, oh, you know, but I'm not going to tell you. This guy's going to go in there and knock out Canelo, but I can tell you this. This is going to be Canelo's toughest fight. Joel Diaz said this will be the toughest fight in Canelo's career. You are going to see the unexpected on May 7th. What's the unexpected? He says, I'm not saying Canelo's going to be knocked out or anything like that, but expect the unexpected on May 7th. If I'm going to see the unexpected May 7th, I'm going to see Bebo hurt Canelo, wobble Canelo. Those are unexpected things I don't expect to happen on May 7th. And some experts rate Bebo's power as average. But Joe Diaz says Bebo hits pretty hard. Maybe that's one of the surprises we're going to see on May 7th. The hard punching of Bebo. But you heard Canelo talk about this fight. He has not taken Bebo for granted. He says it's going to be a tough fight. Bebo is dangerous. I'm 100% focused on Bebo. I don't care about the Triple G fight. And once again, Canelo will be going in there with a disadvantage as far as height and reach. But Chris Mannix asked Canelo a simple question. Do you think anybody could beat you right now in your prime? And Canelo says, no disrespect to other any fighters out there, but nobody beats me right now. He's telling Bevo, you're tough, you're a great competitor, and you can make a difficult fight for me. But when the dust clears, I will win the fight. Now, how can I go against Canelo when he's a proven commodity? I just got to see Bebo do the things he do against lesser opponents. I need to see him do that against Canelo that make me a believer. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.